Right, thank you ladies for agreeing to see us on International Women's Day. We really do appreciate your time, I know you're all busy. Um, I'd like it if possible we could go around and you each introduce yourselves and give us your job title, your name and how you entered your profession. Um, Rachel Gillard, uh, Associate Director with uh, the Western Europe team at MAPES. And um, how I entered the profession, I, I wasn't really aware of the profession, if I'm honest. Uh, and it was a family friend that suggested to me that I might like project management uh, when I came out of university. So I went straight, I got a job in project management. Uh, 18 months later, I joined MACE, and I'm still with MACE 10 years later. Excellent. Well, mine was a bit of an unusual path, really. I um, left school, I used to play cricket, women's cricket, um, so that's what I did for a living, so to speak. I, I, had a, I used to work at Asda, stacking shelves, and I used to go and play my cricket till I, uh, I was about 30 years old and realised it wasn't going to be a career, <laughs> a career, so I thought I'd better do something about that. So I, um, I took a project management degree because I thought that was quite a wide ranging type of subject to take and, and got my degree and then my career sort of progressed from there and I started with MACE two years ago now as a senior project manager. So that's my Thank you. unusual route. Okay. <laughs> my name is Daniel Wigan, I'm group head of marketing and communications. So my route into the industry, so I did a communications degree followed by a um, uh, my chartership in marketing. Um, I started work um, at an engineering firm, so I worked for an engineering firm for five years, followed by an architecture firm, um, and then I've been with Mace for nine years. Thank you. I'm Jennifer Dacre, I'm Associate Director in the Sustainability Department of Mace. Um, I sort of came into construction purely by accident. I started out in retail management through a graduate scheme with a big supermarket, um, and eventually was headhunted by one of the um, companies I worked for, the store development team. So I ended up going, going to be a sort of fit out project manager and then sort of through a sort of series of events um, quite late in life really uh, picked up a uh, sort of role in sustainability which has then led me to working in sustainability and construction at MACE. Fantastic. So you all agree, MACE obviously are a, a very stable employers for you all, with very lengths of careers. Um, where would you see yourself in five years time? Um, probably still at MACE. Uh, if I'm honest, um, and uh, obviously up the career path in some way, shape or form. Um, obviously everyone's got ambitious, ambitions and ultimately you want to be at the top of your profession, but whether that's five years or a little bit longer, I don't know. Um, five years time, yeah, I'd like to put the learning I'm getting from Mace at the minute back into the company, that's what I'd like to do. Uh, and I would like to be in a position where I have the autonomy to make some decisions, make some mistakes, and hopefully learn from them. Um, so yeah, and, and, and the colleagues here are associate directors, and Daniel's a head of, so that would be the sort of position I'd be looking to uh, try and attain if I could in the next five years. Uh, for me, in five years, I think I'd like to be at director level. Um, I'd also like to see the business invest in marketing and communications and, and the brand on a more global scale. Uh, to reach um, what I think is its potential um, internationally. Um, five years time, I guess that's quite an interesting question for me. At the moment I'm in sustainability, which is um, seen as a sort of expertise type of role. Um, but my other sort of, pro uh, I guess, love is, is programme management. So at the moment I have to make a decision, am I going to progress to a more senior role in programme management or a more senior role in sustainability? So really ideally it would be something that could mix both, but I might be at that that sort of decision point, isn't it? Wonderful. Will it be an International Women's Day? Would you have a tip for any aspiring young lady wishing to enter the profession? Um, we were talking about this just earlier, but it was, uh, for me, it's, as a project management, um, it's don't take no for an answer. Um, to really succeed, uh, I would actually give that comment, male or female, um, to, to get somewhere in your profession. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, again, it was an interesting discussion we had, um, and, and Rachel's maybe not in the similar age bracket to some of some of some of the other of us. But I think as you work a little bit longer, for me, I realise the importance of having a good network, whoever that is, um, and for people to 
try and get to know what you can do um, and really work at that hard. I think that's been something that's really helped me in the last few years in my career. Uh, for me, yeah, absolutely grow and invest in your network, but also as you kind of go up the ranks, I think it's, for me, it's about not what you do, but how you do it and be, just be aware of the impact that you can have on, on other people. Um, for me, I think it's about the massive opportunity that, to, that the industry offers. You know, having gone from being a ticket manager and, and uh, from retail management, um, and then into sort of sustainability and geotype work, and now um, helping in a sort of major construction firm on their sustainability journey. So there's lots and lots of opportunity, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a linear path. There's opportunities to, to step into different areas of expertise. Absolutely. Well, thanks very much for your time, ladies. I hope we haven't kept you too long. Um, God bless that journey. Thank you very much. Thank you.